Hello guys, this is YC Bill, and welcome back to the part 2 of the Bandai Gundam Fix Figuration number 0028 Gun Cannon and Gun Cannon Mass Production Type. So, right now I'm going to convert this guy, uh, the Gun Cannon, into the Gun Cannon Mass Production Type using all these parts right here. Alright, so basically what we want to do is very carefully disassemble this figure into uh, its core components so let's go ahead and remove this backpack very carefully oh there we go everything falls apart uh, it's as expected uh, this piece right here was not expected this thing is actually supposed to stay on but whatever all right so we will no longer be needing this backpack we will no longer be needing these parts because these are all parts of the uh, original the regular gun cannon so we're going to very carefully remove these arms from the ball socket, uh, from the ball peg. Still makes me nervous every time I'm trying to get this thing off. So, oh boy. Alright, nothing break. Perfect. Let's go ahead and disassemble the upper torso. And that's going to go ahead and remove this section here. This is no longer necessary. And... We also don't need uh, this piece right here. So let's go ahead and pop this off right here. Let's go ahead and disassemble this piece right here. This is also no longer necessary. And we need to put this piece uh, back on here. Yeah, we need that. Okay, so and we're also going to have to remove the uh, hands. These individual hands right there. Pops off very easily. Better than I can say about some robot Damashi figures. <laughs> and we need to remove this uh, forearm armor piece. So this thing may be a pain in the butt because I kind of, it's kind of vague from the instructions on how to remove these. And it doesn't look like they just slips off very easily like that. So that's uh, a bit concerning. So look, I need to fit this into here. And so far, it's not cooperating. So let's see. Let's see what do we have to do to get this thing off. <laughs> okay. Basically, I pushed it in there, and it came off. Okay, so that's good. The instruction is very vague. So I guess, yeah. Better I do it than somebody else breaking their shit. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this. Let's go ahead and push this in here, like that. So basically, you just want to push this part in. And then you uh, grab this joint right here, and you pop that off, like that. So, okay, so where's the other piece? There we go, pop that in there. Now let's go ahead and reattach everything. There we go. That's one part. And let's go ahead. Okay. So let's go ahead and set this stuff right here. And let's go ahead and pop this thing in here. Like so. There we go. So we got the arms. Let's go ahead and use one of these open hands. That would be nice. Okay, there we go. There we go. Open hand. And let's go ahead and attach this. Uh, uh, oh, you know what? I actually assemble this rifle raw. Because the magazine actually goes in on top. <laughs> yeah. There we go. What an idiot. Okay, so there we go. Oh, this is a little bit problematic because uh, you know the the way the hand is when when it's holding the rifle, it does kind of clash. With the parts and this thing like to slide forward so it's very annoying but it has to be done so just bear with me here 
Wow, and I'm surprised nothing broke. See that I'm a little bit more careful than my friends, or my friends, uh, they just kind of rush stuff and break everything, and then blame other people for their problems. But either way, let's go ahead and pop the feet off. <coughs> I'm gonna set this stuff over here. And let's go ahead and uh, disassemble the legs. So all these armor parts are gonna just, you know, stay off. Knee parts. Uh, yeah. And this part. And the armor comes off like that. There we go. This is actually very nice. You can see, uh, you know, the, uh, the how the articulation actually works here. So that's definitely not too bad. So. Okay, I guess you can kind of get it in the kneeling pose. I wouldn't put it in that, you know, the famous gun cannon pose though, because I feel like that's just a little bit too much for this figure to handle. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the armor parts on here. This piece goes in right here. This piece goes in right here. Yeah, it's kind of like assembling the model kit, to be honest, even though this is like a figure. But that's how it is with all the, uh, you know, GFFs, the Gundam Fixed Figuration. So. Got the inner frame, and then we got the armor parts. So we got that. Everything lined up. Everything lined up, yes. Everything's lined up. Got the knee armor. Pop that right in there, like that. Let's go ahead and grab the feet. Grab the feet, pop right there, front and back skirt, back skirt goes in here, front skirt goes in here, like that, there we go, oh, something came off this piece, this goes in right there. Oh, okay, so we are supposed to change out one one extra part right here for the uh, crotch piece. I kind of missed that. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and grab this part. There we go, this crotch piece does come off. We grab this piece, and we stick that over here, there, like that. And then uh, we reconnect this thing. It's uh, it's very delicate. So anyway, how can I get this thing to line up? <laughs> it's uh, there we go, there we go. So this piece goes in there like that, and then this piece uh, go the pegs go back into the. It's it's still a pain in the butt, <laughs> but there we go. There we go. It's not coming off. All right, so there we go. The uh, lower torso is all done. You can look at all these parts. Pretty much like Gunpla, right? Probably even more parts than Gunpla. High grade Gunpla, that is. And we put this piece over here, and then we put this piece right here, like so. I have the instruction right next to me, so it's it's not terribly difficult. Shoulder armor goes here. So here's the tricky part. You need to sandwich the shoulder armor uh, in between the peg and the arm. Kind of like some older you know, UC kits. So I think the best way to do it is to get the arm in here. And then we'll pop this in. There we go. Wow, that's actually not bad at all. <laughs> it's actually really good. You know what? I'll be honest with you. A lot of the uh, Gundam Fix Figuration figures that I've seen that are broken in person have already been broken. So, 
I never actually had the experience of actually breaking any of these uh, Gundam fixed figuration figures. So I'm kind of wondering if it's like, you know, either people don't know what they're doing. It's probably like a combination of both, maybe like quality control and then people don't know what they're doing. And they're just cons consistently breaking shit like real great kids. You know, I have broken real great kids uh, when I first started, but... You know, now that I'm a little bit more experienced, I, nothing's broken. Nothing gets broken, ever. So, there we go. The head comes on here. And the backpack goes on here. And boy, that looks fantastic. Look at that. That is really nice. Okay, so the articulation is all pretty much the same. But, now you have some new cool stuff that you can play around with these cannons. Now these cannons are probably some of the best uh, design I've seen in Gundam. Because uh, you can actually extend the cannons. So that looks really nice. Yeah. And you also have these parts right here. Like that. That goes like right there. <laughs> so, that is nice. I really like that. It looks like a working pistons. Anyway, you want to fix, uh, get this to fit flush onto the, uh, you know, you want all these parts to be flush so the cannon can actually face forward. Like so. There we go. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. This is, uh, this is actually pretty impressive. Although, yeah, there's, there's a freaking gap in there, which I need to push this one in a little bit more. But there we go. Here's the gun cannon, mass production type. Looking very nice. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this series of, uh, well, this particular review. Uh, I don't know if we can find any more, uh, you know, these... Uh, Gundam fixed figuration figures, but if we do, I'll definitely uh, do another one. Definitely want to do something involving, uh, you know, Xeon, Xeonography. But uh, we'll have to dig through uh, some people's, uh, you know, collection of stuff to uh, maybe find something that's brand new or something that's like at least partially complete. And that's pretty much it for this video. Here's it right next to the. Uh, Hygra Universal Century HUC144 scale uh, gun cannon revive model kit action uh, model kit figure. So there you go. That's the difference. One's a model kit, one's a figure. Thanks for watching.